I don't know about you. I don't like mosquitoes, no. and I think I got a lot of company. Yeah, the little pests do more than just annoy, but Jeff is here in the studio with how some scientists, Jeff, they're trying to just wipe them off the face of the earth. Goodbye, mosquito. I just can't believe what Dan just said. You don't like them? I love mosquitoes. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah. No, Come doesn't. on over to my house. No. I'll put some uh, standing water out there, and you can uh, <laughs> camp out. No, nobody likes them. You yeah. try and trap them, you swat them, you spray them, but they just keep coming back. Now, at worst, you get a bite, typically. That's what happens, and you don't like that. But really, if you think about it, mosquitoes can kill. According to the World Health Organization, more than 725,000 people across the globe every year, most notably from diseases like malaria. So do mosquitoes provide any good whatsoever? It appears that the answer is no. Health and insect experts weighed in on this with ABC News and collectively said there is little evidence to suggest the pesky bugs provide any benefit whatsoever to society. So what if we were to kill them off completely? Is that even possible? Unfortunately, the impact on the environment would be too great you would have to clear forests and basically create deserts to get rid of their habitat. So that's off the list. But there is another option. You keep the mosquitoes, but get rid of the deadly ones. That's what Oxitec has been working on for the past 10 years, where they use genetic modification to try and weed out the bad ones. So effectively what we do is we put out into the environment males of the species because males don't bite you or spread disease. They go out and mate with the fertile females and the offspring then die and reduce the mosquito population of that one species. That's interesting. And he says that with genetic modification, you can reduce the mosquito population in a town by 90%. That's really good, so why not just do it on a global scale? Well, he went on to say that he does not think that's possible. Uh, if it were, he said it would take a very, very long time to do. If you think about going from one town to the next and eradicating 90% of the mosquito population, think of how many towns there are in the world sure. and just how long that would take while you leave one town, another town is left with 10% of the mosquitoes, which then continue to mate, and you're left with a, a problem of going back to these other these towns that you already went to. Well, so it, it, it's there, there's not really a, a solution. Do you guys buy completely that we wouldn't miss them if they were gone? Because sometimes you don't know what they do until right. they're gone. No, you know, just what they say about flies or other little critters. You buy there's been extensive research with mosquitoes huh. and the benefit to society and they're just not finding a lot. I think we should share the world. Some may say the same thing has been done with the Kardashians. What was the benefit? <laughs> but they're still around. We have to share the world. Yeah. 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 And, and they're they're still around and they keep multiplying. So the Kardashians okay. or mosquitoes. Let's just Both? Okay. go now to the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jeff. Let's